Ortho Specialist. This is a quick crash course in how you are going to be assigning and responding to your activities in Seesaw. Um, this is meant to be quick. You're going to probably want to pause, rewind, watch again, um, send questions if you have them. This is just supposed to be something to get you started. So if you are creating an assignment, you're going to click Add and you're going to do Assign Activity. And we're assuming you've already made your assignments. So if you have questions about making assignments, that's a different question. This is once your assignment's made, how to get it into classrooms. So we're just going to pretend that this is what you're assigning. So you're going to click Assign. And then here are going to be all the classes that you're a part of. Um, they each should have your teacher's name and they'll say how many kids. And so let's say you made a kindergarten activity and it's going to all your kindergarten classrooms. You would click on all the kindergarten classrooms and you would ignore all the first grade classrooms or however that's going to look. After you click on that, you're going to go for each one that you clicked on. You're going to come over here and click on folders. And then you're going to click on folders again. And then you're going to find the folder that you're looking for. That wasn't a good example because my folder for you is in this class. So you're going to click on folders and then you're going to scroll and find your folder at Monument. PE is going to be orange and look like this every time for Mr. Rasmussen. For Mrs. Horning, Steam is going to be this color and have an art palette for every time. For music, Mrs. Cook's going to be purple with a piano. For library, it's going to be that lime green with a book every single time for teachers at Monument. So let's pretend I was Mr. Rasmussen. I would click on this to make sure my activity is going into PE. And then we're going to click the green check. And then you would go to the next class that you're doing that in and I don't have your folders in the other classes, but same thing. You would click on folders and you would find PE again and click the green check. You'd go to the next class that you're posting it in. You would click folders, you would find PE and you'd click the green check. Once you have everybody selected the teacher and you make sure you put it in the folder, then you have the option to schedule. If you do not schedule it, the moment that you post it, every child will have access to it. So you can schedule and you can assign on a specific date. So let's say it's library. We want it live Monday mornings. You could pick Monday and then you can pick whatever time it is that it's going live, a.m. or p.m. And then you click the green check. OK, I'm going to take it out of that class because I don't want my real kids to see it. So once you're done with scheduling, and you have them in your folders and you've picked all the classes you want, you click assign. Now that is assigned to all of the classes that you chose. If you need to now do another one for a different class, you would go through the same process. Now, after you've assigned them and now you're looking to provide feedback, when you log in to a teacher's class, it'll automatically take you to the journal page. You're going to see this big red bar along the bottom. You're going to click review. It's going to say 60. Mine right now says 67. Yesterday it said 120. Those are the posts for that entire class. So you're going to click on review. Do not click approve all. That will make it so that the teachers don't get to see their students work. So make sure that's a big thing. Don't click approve all. You're going to come over here to where it says unapproved items and there's a folder. You're going to click on the folder and you are going to find your whatever it was. So this one would be Mr. Rasmussen. Well, I didn't actually assign it because it's my real class. So uh, I could go into reading, which would be my, me, but you would be in your specialist one. And any at activities that have not been approved yet will show up here. Now it says approve 36 items. Well, those are only 36 items in reading. So yours would be 36 items in PE. If you hit approve all, you're not looking at each individual one. You're just saying, I don't have time to give feedback today. I'm approving them all. 
or you can go and actually watch. I can see this is Clint Smedley's. I would watch his video and then I could click approve. Um, now I have Clint's other activity. I could watch it and I could click approve. Now I have Anthony Castro's video. I can watch it and I can click approve. Um, if you're providing feedback, you can click, you can just give it a like, or you could click on comments. And right here's the microphone. You could record verbal feedback. Great job, Clint. I love how you use the pencil and blah, 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 blah. And it prompts you to record. And then you would hit send and you'd hit approve. And the students would be able to see that feedback. So this approve all after you are sure you are only in your folder is OK. But when you're just on the basic journal page, that has everybody's student work, please do not click that. Make sure up here at the top, it shows your folder. I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, you can pause and rewatch. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or give me a call and I can make another video if we needed one. So I hope that helps guys. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. And I know the kids will be excited to send you videos. Um, at the end of an exhausting day, I'm really enjoying chuckling over watching my students' videos. So I hope you enjoy them too. But that is the crash course on where to put them when you're assigning them and how to only respond to the ones that were going to you as a teacher. All right, guys, good luck.